Good morning, everyone. I am doing a quick live in here for you guys. Michelle asked a really great question about allergies the other day um, when it comes to blending for yourself for the fall. And this is the first thing I'm going to say about blending. Blending anything for yourself is a very, very personal thing. And I think it's really important that when we're sitting down to blend for ourselves, we acknowledge that what our opinion of what smells good or what reminds us of fall or spring or anything in life, that it is entirely up to us what the direction of the blend that we take goes. That being said, if you're allergic to say cinnamon oils like cinnamon bark, cinnamon leaf, cassia, or even clove oils, there are certain things that you have to consider, you know, especially if you want to make a spicy blend per se. Um, with regards to clove, I think it's important to mention that allspice has a very similar constituent makeup when it comes to the eugenols, very, very high in eugenols. So if you're allergic to clove oils, you may also have an allergy to allspice, which is also called pimento berry. So if you know you might have that allergy, definitely take some time to do a little bit of testing when there's no one, you know, that's going to have the same reaction as you potentially. Um, and, and definitely do it on a, on a set strip first before you just start diffusing it. So it's only one drop. Um, and samples are really great for that kind of stuff too. So a few alternatives, um, Michelle mentioned cardamom and also cardamom CO2. Those are great alternatives, but a few others that I think are worth mentioning are ginger. Um, if you like the smell of ginger, but you're kind of tired of ginger, ply can be an amazing substitute for that. Um, black pepper, pink pepper, those are really, really good ones. Um, I tend to like putting black pepper and ginger together or black pepper and ply. Um, and then also caraway seed, cumin seed, and star anise. Um, I tend to shy away from the anise. I do not like licorice whatsoever. And that comes from a particular chemical constituent that is found in that. And so I don't use a lot of that. Um, I would have to have an excessive demand in order for me to carry it because it really revolts my stomach that much. Um, but those are some options spice-wise that you can use to spice up those fall blends. Now, as I mentioned before, if you are really looking at making a blend for the fall. It doesn't have to be a spicy blend. It can be an earthy, woodsy kind of blend, maybe with some spruces. So think anything that's, you know, earthy like patchouli. Patchouli is a really great earthy oil, very grounding, very soothing and relaxing, and helps give you a bit of that musty smell that you would expect when you're out walking in the park and the leaves have fallen on the ground. Um, another oil that I really like for the fall is Buddha wood. And again, very, very grounding. Um, it's got a very rich depth to it that I think helps build out blends. Then I also really like for the fall spruces. Um, a lot of people really like those more around Christmas time, but I tend to stick with the conifers year round. That's just me. I'm a woodsy kind of person. So for the fall, I envision being up in the mountains. I'm typically up in the mountains this time of the year, harvesting and things. And so I miss the smell of the Ingleman spruce. I miss the smell of the white firs and the ponderosa pines, all of those. So those to me are very fall-like because that's the time of year that I find that I want to be around those smells. So you may be that kind of person too. And if that's the case, black spruce is a great one. Um, cypress is another one and scotch pine. Those are three amazing ones and they're relatively easy to get a hold of. Um, one other thought on fall blends, citruses. Not a lot of people put a lot of stock in citruses for the fall, but with the with the daylight not being as much as what it is during the summer, it's really kind of important for us to consider making those citrus oils a huge part of our blends for the fall. That helps keep us uplifted. It also helps to round out those blends, especially if you're using a conifer that doesn't have much of a citrus note to it. And you can use quite a bit of blood orange or sweet orange 
in your fall blend and still have a great, great blend that hits all the points, whether it's spices, whether it's, you know, the earthiness or even whether it is woodsy. So um, I hope those tips have helped. If you guys want to do a blending session, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, starting Monday, my schedule is about to get really wonky. My kids are starting their hybrid schedule. I'm a little terrified, um, but that's just me. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with my daughter, she used to have a diagnosis of low IgA, which is directly related to the immune system. She essentially didn't have an immune system for the first eight years of her life. Wasn't even registering on the scale. Um, and so she got on the scale for the first time ever when she was eight years old. But that being said, she had an alternatively high IgG. So there's, while our immunologist has said, okay, she doesn't have this anymore, but this might potentially be why, I'm, I'm a little nervous for next week. Um, and then, like I said, their schedules are kind of crazy. My daughter is only in school for two hours and 45 minutes, four days a week. And even though, you know, they're super, they're super on top of doing the social distancing and the masking and things like that, I still worry about her because we just don't know with her immune system. And then my son only has school two days a week, but he's full time. And then on top of that, they're homeschooling. So it's, it's kind of a mess here, what our schedule looks like. So if you try to catch me next week and you miss me, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I will be around, probably be easiest to just leave a post in the group or to email me so that I don't miss your questions. Um, but that's pretty much it for the tips. Again, if you have comments, throw them in the box and I will get back to them. I've actually gotta go in and check on my son. He's working on a couple engineering projects. Fun stuff, right? <laughs> so I will touch base with you guys later. Thanks so much and keep your questions coming. Have a great rest of your Friday.